going across the mountain and there's no music. Why? <laughs> success with this movie, are you thinking about <laughs> pursuing a career at Hollywood or something? Well, well uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking calls. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you guys giving autographs at, at the end of this session or anything? Because I'm interested, you know, if one of you really turns out good, that autograph would be more. Thanks guys. Great book. Hey, was the uh, film endorsed by Sun? <laughs> <laughs> not, not really allowed to talk about that. Um, it's, you know, to, to be serious about it, it's, uh, you know, we, we went to them and said, you know, are you cool with this film? And they said basically, yeah, as long as nobody thinks it's an official CERN, you know, that, uh, that they're not saying, yeah, the LHC actually creates zombies. Uh, they're, they're cool with it apart from that, so that's, that's kind of nice. Um, how hard was it to convince a Hollywood star of the calibre of Stuart Martin Ford to work with you? <laughs> what, was it? what was it? How hard was it to work with Stuart? <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a reason he's not here today. Yeah. And that's it. He's uh, a diva. <laughs> My question is for Luke. I was, I was thinking, considering how good the acting was in that film, were you surprised considering how poor the direction was? <laughs> Thanks, John. At least, you at least you didn't streak like you threatened. <laughs> Science, 
Ridiculous size. Uh, just for Luke, uh, how many rounds did you think was in that gun? <laughs> well, I can actually answer that very accurately. I'm not going to, but I can. Uh, I, I did make sure that it was it was correct for the, like the type of gun it is. I, I'm, I'm, come on, I'm a geek. I'm a geek. Of course, I'm going to check this stuff. <laughs> um, I'm interested, because I'm not a physicist, uh, how much did you take into account when writing the script that your audience like, might not be physicists and that kind of thing? Well, judging, judging by you know, the reaction to the science jokes, I think we got it about right. Um, it was, yeah, the, 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 the whole idea was that any sort of science in the film should be completely ridiculous. Like, because it was either, you know, as, as scientists, we could either go, okay, let's make this completely accurate, which seemed kind of boring, or, you know, as scientists say, okay, we know how to get this entirely wrong, let's just take the piss. And, you completely accurate film, because it's made up. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of intended to be just kind of taking the piss out of, like, Hollywood films, where, where, they, where they've got, you know, they try, they try and make the science right, and they just get it Wrong. I, I was actually really impressed that it's one of the better um, like movie GUIs I've seen where because most of the time it's like bright flashing lights and uh, like, yeah. well, lines of code <laughs> <laughs> Again, basically taking the piss. You have a question? What were the uh, satirical what were the satirical commentaries that you uh, gave the bottom for that one we discussed in the film? So in your interview with uh, some of the press release you said there were some satirical <coughs> commentaries. Oh, I, think I think I've just explained it. Um, yeah, just not. <laughs> not that's, that's basically it. Everything being ridiculous. That's that's the stuff. Uh, so you might not have, you might not have caught it. Hi, uh, a bit more of a serious question. It's not common for the horror genre to explore um, sexuality as jazz. What became apparent in this film was that death became a sexual act. Um, would you like to comment on that? You laugh, that is actually something we did. You know? <laughs> um, but, so, you know, the idea with Will's character was he's quite well, a prick. Uh, Will's not, Will's great. I love him. Um, but, you know, so, so we kind of thought, you know, here's this guy who fancies himself a womanizer, fancies himself a bit of a ladies' man, so why not kill him with two hot zombies? Uh, <laughs> that was basically the thinking behind that. Maybe not as deep as you were hoping, Jim, but uh, you know. Oh, it was pretty deep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the gist. Uh, oh. Hi, so this is for Tom Proctor. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed during the film there was a lot of zombies killed. And I just wanted to know, um, it looks very real, so I thought, have you actually ever killed someone? Have <laughs> I killed someone before? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how to answer that. <laughs> yes or no? Maybe, yes or maybe no? you should speak to your agent before you answer those kind of questions. Yeah. Can, I, can I answer that question? No, I'll, I'll be told that I'm not allowed to answer that question. Uh, agent, no, agent, and legal counsel. Uh, it looked a bit too real. I don't believe that. <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask if there's going to be an after party and uh, where that's going to be. <laughs> We're probably going to go to the pub, I guess. I, <laughs> it was hard enough. It was hard enough planning this. You know, planning, planning an after party too. Oh, there, there will be. Speak to that one later. That's, that's, that's an audience you're pointing to. They know, they know. Oh, they, they know. Right. We have time for about two more questions, so uh, can you join us? We have one here on the middle. No, Dermot, no! <laughs> no, this is, this is serious as well. I was just wondering what would have happened if we didn't jump on John then. <laughs> I would have asked someone to do that. Um, I can't, I don't really have, I'm a figurehead. I don't have any real power, so. I guess you can't answer that really. Yeah, you can't. John can answer that. Give you me can't talk to me. I've got a hundred quid. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to do. I think, I think, I think last question now. Uh, 
Uh, obviously, great bill, really entertaining. You can I see that all the way through. through but um, two years to make, did you have fun making it, or was it pulling your hair out? Obviously, you had fun. Okay, you're going to get to We had fun. We, we had laughs. We had drama. We had tears. We had a little, you know, we ran the spectrum of emotions you saw it on screen. I, I think that was our lives for two years. On that cheerful note, I think uh, we should bring the Q&A session to a close. Thank you everyone so much.